Hey everyone, I wanted to do another collection video of my supplies. Today, um, I wanted to do my pencils. So I figured y'all might be interested in what pencils I have. Um, so let's get started. And the first one I'm gonna start with is my polychromos, which are in this lovely case. Um, I have a full set of polychromos that my father-in-law got me for as a, as a gift um gosh about a year and a half ago um so i'll show you the swatch chart those are the polychromos colors if you would like to see them all swatched out um and they're not all in here because i am using them on a project so I have these small cases and I'll pull them out I'll pull pencils out of different sets and put them in a project case um, but polychromos are amazing they changed my life um, are they my favorite I don't I mean I don't know if I have a favorite because different pencils work different on different paper and I, I really like all the pencils that I have to be fair some I like more than others. I love my polychromos. Um, we'll be honest about that. Um, let's see. Where are my... Here they are. I guess next, since we started with polychromos, we'll go with the Prismacolor. I have the 120, 150 set of Prismacolor pencils. And I have used them. You will see. It's partly why I need all these pencil extenders that I got. If you watched my haul video, um, they are an amazing go-to pencil. The blenders I use all the time. Um, here is my 150 Prismacolor swatch chart. I suck at swatch charts. Not gonna lie, I I'm much I'm better now, but I don't like swatching. I do it because I have to have a swatch chart. I can't, I can't live without a swatch chart, um, but I don't like doing it. It's not my favorite process. So <laughs> they're sloppy, <laughs> quick, um, but anyway, so these are my Prismacolors. I use them a lot, as do most people, I, I noticed. Uh, let's see, I have a drawer with all of my, not all, <laughs> most, most pencils, okay. Um, these would be my square brute Furner pencils that everyone is in love with right now. The colors are very, um, vibrant. I wasn't going to get them and then I decided to, I have a swatch chart here somewhere. I pull all my swatch charts out because I thought it'd be nice, you know, then you can see the colors. Where are they? They're probably on the last chart. Hmm. I'm missing them. I don't have all the same swatch charts anymore. Like I use different ones. And um, so I've been swapping out because I like swatch charts that when I can get all the pencils on one page. Um, here they are, oh gosh, I just didn't see them. Um, so these are the Square Brute Furners. If you wanna see all the colors swatched out. So those are really nice. I don't love them probably as much as other people, but I haven't used them a ton um, and I need to get more familiar with them. I like the Star Joys a little better, but that's me. <clears throat> then these are Cray Art. Um, I was watching, oh gosh, about two years ago. I was watching, yeah, I think it was Liz at Home. It was either Lucy Just Adds Color or Liz at Home, one of the two of them. And she's like, I really love these Crayart pencils. And I was looking for a cheap set of pencils because I didn't have that many. And um, 
I got them and they're they're an oil based pencil they are really nice I like to shade with them um I really enjoy using them you know I have since got more pencils and I probably like some others better than these but I do love these pencils um So there's all the colors. They have nice bright colors. It's 120 set. Um, they're a nice budget pencil. So they, they're, like I said, they're oil instead of wax. So their, their blending is more like polychromos than, than Prismacolor or some of your other soft pencils. So um, take that what you will, but um, I really like them. I, I thought they were a great, great pencil. What else is in here? These would be, ah, my Starjoy pencils. Now, to be fair, I have two sets of Starjoy pencils. So, if you look online on, um, oh, Amazon, you'll see, like, the Starjoy pencils come in a pencil roll, right? And it's a 72 set. I had those originally, um, and I, um, they don't look like this. Um, let me see if I can, I took them out and put them in a box because of what they are. Mm, I find them. Um, but they have an open end, um, and you can see they're different. They're really different. Um, and the funny part was, is at the time I had the 72 set of Arteza pencils and, um, they were nearly identical in my opinion. Um, so this is, I still have the swatch chart though. So this was my original 72 set of Arteza pencils. And this is my set of, this was my original 72 Arteza and these are my 72 Starjoy. I loved these as much as these, really they have nearly the same colors, <laughs> to be fair. They're, they have almost the same colors. It was a very similar set. These broke like crazy. I could not, some of them, I could not keep the leads in them. But that, I mean, I've had them for like two years. So they may not be the same anymore. Um, but like I said, they they look different than these. They're, they have open ends. They look more like a, a normal pencil does. These um, I ordered because everyone loves loved them. Um, and I do too. I like them a little better than the square root fingers because that's my prerogative. I don't know why. Um, I like the way they lay down a little bit better. I think that the square root fingers are a little too waxy, but in, in fairness, I have only used each of them one time. Um, I'm looking for my swatch chart. So here they are. These are the 120 Star Joy pencils, and those are all the colors that come in them, come with them. Um, I love using these. These are amazing. I just haven't enjoyed the square root printers, and I, I, maybe the books that I've used, I um, I love them just a little bit less than these. I mean, these are. These, I love the colors. I love the brightness. Um, their fabulous pencil. And then what else do I have in here? I have my pencil roll. I have my 72 set of Sardart pencils, which are a lovely pencil as well. Like I said, I don't all the pencils that I got that I don't like, I sent back. So I shouldn't have any um pencils. <laughs> That I don't like, except for that 72 set of Starjoy, which I actually like the way they lay down. 
I just didn't like the sharpening of them. Oh, where are they? It's not there. They're like this giant. Um, oh, this is them. Yeah, here they are. This is the 72 Sargent Arts. Um, they're really cheap and they are just beautiful. The colors are so bright. I mean, they don't have a lot of grays or anything, but the colors are so bright and so vibrant. And for the price, they're just such a nice little pencil. Um, so yeah, recommend totally these. I have nothing here. These are oh, these are my Verithin pencils. So Prismacolor Verithins. I do not have these swatched out. Um, they are. I watched a video. Um, what's her channel name? I can't think of it right now. But she, someone did a video um, on what these are for, and these are for these are harder lead. Um, they're octagonal or whatever. They don't come sharpened. And it's a set of like 36, I think. 24, 36, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, yeah, 36. Um, and they're the most common colors, I think. And they're harder lead so that you can sharpen them. And they're a thinner pencil so you can get in your fine spaces because your Prismacolors don't have a um like a they're, they're not they're so buttery and soft they're not able to like hold a point so that's what these are for and I've used a few of them and it's funny you really they do match like you find that you are you're looking for a color you're using and yeah one of those is the color you're using so I sharpened them um they have like a nice little point they're they're harder much harder um, and they do like a little detail is just great, but that's what they're for. I mean, I think, I think she was right. A lot of people don't know what these are for and they're for the fine details because your re regular Prismacolors are so soft. So you can use the Prismacolor Verithins to get in the little fine lines and that's what those are. Um, these are... I think they're Faber-Castell Ergo Soft. Um, I actually bought these in Germany. Um, when I was in Germany, I went in the Faber-Castell shop. And I, it was like a kid in a candy store. I loved it. Um, and these were in a beautiful little tin box with a sharpener and everything. Um, because I couldn't really afford anything else. <laughs> but these were neat. Um... I need to sharpen them. I haven't really used them. I haven't had a chance to, um, but that was just my little thing from the um, Faber-Castell store. Um, I can probably show you the tin that came in. Hang on. It had an insert in it that I have since thrown away, but it was in. they were in this cute little tin. It had like a plastic insert that they were all in. And then it had a sharpener, and I still have the sharpener, I use it. I use the 10. You better believe I'm keeping the 10 and using it. Um, let's see what else I have. Okay. Where are all there's all the other things? Okay. I also have the the Brute Funer 168 set that they have on Amazon. They've had it for a while. They would be really cheap. Um, I got them to use with my Polychromos because the Polychromos has very earthy colors. Um, and at the time I didn't have many colored pencils. I didn't really organize them because when you get these, they have no, they just have numbers. They're in that plastic thing. And they're not really in a great order. And I will tell you the thing with these, um, the barrel does not match the color. <laughs> so you have to swatch them. Um, 
So I just kind of swatched them out. So it's 168. They were the Wan Shui oil pencils. And they're fun to shade with. I don't really use them for coloring coloring. I just use them to shade things. Um, I mean, I'm not in love with them. They're probably one of my least favorite pencils, but they're actually pretty good. I was surprised um, for as cheap as they are and the type of pencils that they are. But I, I think they're the same as the 520 set. I mean, it's just a smaller set, but I think they're all the same pencil. It's just a shorter color range. But they have lovely, light, bright colors that, you know, the polychromos don't have. <laughs> So, and they have a lot of metallics in them too, but I don't use those that much. So I've got the 168 Wan Shui Brute Funer pencils to use. Um, what else do I have? I should have looked at what's in here. Oh, these are my favorite Castell Classics. Um, it's a 60 set. I bought these, they're student pencil. These are like the kids' pencils and they are hard. Um, I've used them a bit to color some things. I like them. Um, I like to take them um, traveling. I have them swatched, but they're in a different book because I've had these for a long time. Oh, I think they're in here. I was starting to do like a different um, swatch book. So here they are. This is the 60 set. Um, that's what they look like. They're lovely colors. Um, it's, a, it's a great little set. I mean, but they might be harder than some people like. Um, so there you go. I have those. That's why I'm, I've got too many pencils right now. Um, let's see. In here I have... Um, at this, at, right at this moment, these are probably my least favorite. These are my castle art pencils. Um, I have had these for a good long time. Um, and they are here. So I was using a bigger swatch sheet, um, for these. They have a lot of greens and they have some grays and browns. Um, but they do have a nice selection of color. Seems like no matter what pencil set I use, they, there's never a color that I want. <laughs> um, so I do have these. <clears throat> I loved them when I first got them, but I've gotten so many other sets of pencils that I just like more. I probably will never rebuy these because I'll never get these and I'll probably never get those round brute pruners again. Um, just because I don't care for them. Let me see what's in here. that I don't remember what's in here. Oh, okay. These are my Crayola pencils. I thought they were over on the shelf. Oh, I know what those are. I have two similar cases and I was thinking. Um, but I have the um, 100 pencils or 120 set, and then I bought the Colors of the World and added them to it. So, um, let's see, I have the swatch chart for that on one of these pages. It's on the back of the sheet. Here they are. Crayola colored pencils. Yep, 120 set with the Colors of the World added which is like tw 24 pencils. Um, so that's all of them. It makes it like 144. Yep, 144. It's a great, I love the Crayola pencils. I have done some great work with them. They are, I mean, they are what they are. They don't layer great, um, but you know, everyone says that you can do good art with just about any pencil, I mean. It depends on what you like. Um, and the Crayola has some great colors. I mean, they just have an amazing array of colors that other pencil brands don't have. Um, so, and with the colors of the world, they've really added some stuff. 
they could use some more grays. They, they are severely lacking in the grays, but you know, kids don't use gray. Adults use gray. <laughs> so that's my, these are not, you will not see very many of this type of case. I do not like these at all. Um, but I had it and it's getting used. Um, those are not pencils here. Okay, so I'm getting close. These are my uh, Spear Farben pencils, 96. I bought a case for them because there are no cases for 96 pencils and that is really, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know why I have to have the exact case for my set of pencils, like the, the size of my set of pencils because, you know, you might want a different, um, you might, you know, you can always use one that's 120, which is what this is, it's 120. Um, because the, the ones that you can fit like 108 pencils are, are the ones where you fit three in. And I just, I don't like them very much. But here's the Shapiro Farben 96 count colored pencils. The swatch chart. So you can see what they look like, all swatched out. Um, they are, I have actually not colored a page with these, but I am going to this week. I haven't had them that long. I just got them like a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. I think I got them in June. Um, so I haven't had them as long as I've had some other things. These are, you can see all my cases. These are my Arteza. I have the 120 Arteza pencils, the new ones. I don't remember when I got these. I think I got them sometime around Christmas. Um, so, cause they, I've been wanting the 120 sets, see, I've done all of those, I've done all of those, 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 I'm almost out of pencil sets. Starting the sergeant art, where are my, they're on the back, here they are. Here are my um, Arteza Expert Colored Pencils, the swatch, swatch chart for those. What's on the back here? Okay, those would be... So, lovely set of pencils, love my Artezas. Um, they're a great set of pencils. And then, of course, so you'll get a kick out of this, although, I should have done it differently. I realized that I had some, um, I have some whole sheets of sticker paper and I should have just printed it on there, but I printed out a Black Widow because these are my Black Widow pencils. I have all 144. I've had them all for a long time and I've collected them as time went on. And this is a big case. <laughs> So, yep, and they all look different because the sets have been different. But I have the Monarch and the Scorpion and the Black Widow and the Cobra and the Skin Tone set. Um, and so they're all together on here. So, yeah, the, the, the light colors that Black Widow has... Black Widow has some vibrant colors. I have been using them. These were one of the nicer sets of pencils I had because I didn't have my prism colors for a long time. And these were like one of the first sets I got. Um, you can see I've used some of them quite a bit. Um, the greens are amazing. So um, totally recommend them i know they that someone said well by the time you buy all the sets they can be just as expensive i'm like yeah i guess you're right um but you can get deals on them but they're they're a great pencil the colors are just amazing like some of their grays i mean nobody has grays and stuff that like they have 
Let's see. So I've done the Arteza and I've done the Black Widow. Oh, yeah. Um, here they are. A couple of small sets. I think I'm almost done. So I just got the Art and Fly pencils. They want me for a while. So I put them in one of these little tiny cases and they're lovely. I have not colored with them. Mm. Nope, I have not colored with them. They are so bright. They remind me of the Sargent Arts. They really do. Um, you know, I've never put them side by side. Let's see. Is this one? Yeah. <laughs> they look extremely similar, don't they? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Very nearly the same, yeah, same colors. What's the malachite? So the emerald green is the malachite. Yeah, I should tell, what's her name? Is it Lori? I'm trying to remember the name of her channel. She's She has a um, East Coast, New Jersey, New York accent, and she lives in Utah. And for some reason, I cannot be, I watch her channel all the time. I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> And then last but not least, I have, oh no, I have a couple more things. Um, I have, I don't know where they are at the moment. Um, oh, they're in a, oh, they're in a tin. I keep them in their tin. I forgot. I have 12 color soft pencils. and oh, I love them. I got these for like eight dollars at Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance and um oh I want the entire set of color soft pencils. I want the light fast. I want like everything Derwent. So um but these are my color soft so I use them. I try to combine them with things. Um this is a color it case that I bought for my um Progresso. I have Koinor and they are here. So these are the Koinor 24 plus 2 um, woodless pencils. Uh, and I have the gold and the silver. Then they just kind of float because there's not room for them in this case. But um, And then I have the Tritone pencils, which are awesome. I love the Tritone pencils. The mix of colors is just amazing. So I have those. I ordered the color case fits both of those perfectly. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I have any more that I'm not? Um, well, I have. I don't know. Do crayons count? Probably. I don't know. I do have. Which ones are these? I have um, Crayola Twistables. So I have the 50 set of Crayola Twistables. What reminded me was that they're on one of these sheets that I have. So I have my Crayola pencils. I'm a mess, aren't I? They're probably here. So these are the 50 Crayola Twistables. Colored pencils. 50 is the biggest set that come in, as far as I know. Um, you know, you just twist them. You don't really sharpen them, but there are some sharpeners that you can use with them. Because there are sharpeners for just lead. Um, so I have one of those that I use for these. And then I have... Um, Pouch just like that. Uh, oh, I bet you. Did I skip something? Yeah. Sorry. Last thing. I also have a 50 set of um, Crayola Twistable Crayons because I like how buttery these are. The 50 count. 
Um, I haven't really used them, but um, they're just a twistable. I had to number them because, well, if I ever want to find something, but you just twist them up and I'm sure everybody knows what these are. I like them better than normal crowns. I have a 96 set of crowns. I never use them. Never. Anyway, so that is all of my colored pencils. We did pretty good. I got through them all. I hope I didn't um, jostle y'all around too much, but um, I hope you all enjoyed. Yeah, if I can, my goal is to get the Derwent pencils I don't have. I really want light fast and I would really like to have the color soft and I would like to have some Caran d'Ache pencils. But that's taken, that's gonna be some justification right there. <laughs> I can't really justify buying those. <laughs> but <coughs> thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about my pencil sets, let me know. I am happy to answer them and I hope you enjoyed. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye.